Welcome back everybody, good to see you. We are on our last tote out of seven from the $2,000 liquidation palette I picked up. This one was half shelf pulls, half returns. Uh, you know what, we've, we've been through six, some were okay, some were a eh, little on the, not the most desirable side, but uh, you know what, if you're watching the videos, I'm kind of putting a link, like a little thing at the bottom saying how much potential value that I should be able to sell this for. I will do the same thing after I've gone through this afterwards. So at the end of this video, I will put potential selling value. And as for this seven series that I had put on, or eight actually with the very first one in the, in the truck, is to let people really know what the reality version of liquidation is. So that way people think, oh, you know, it's all this glamorous life. You're getting everything for five cents on a dollar. You're selling it for full retail. You know what? You don't. I'm just throwing it out there, letting people know what kind of stuff we get. Um, sometimes it's uh, you hit a gem, you get that nugget, and you're making a couple hundred dollars. And then there's other times where, you know, uh, by previous episodes that I've had where you have to throw it out. You have to eat that amount and make it up somewhere else. So, that being said, last one, let's see what we have. So we're gonna start off, telescopic folding stool. Again, something like that should be a nice easy sell. Happy with that. Woman's extra large, extra large. Oh, you know what? Almost looks like a, a wedding dress or something. Let's see what we have here. Well, you know what? I don't know. It's a dress. It's a dress. Let's see. Okay. There we go. So, it almost looks like a wedding dress. Huh. So, um, I'll never get it back in the bag. Uh, get somebody else to do that. We have Alex Vando, never heard of it, but you know, on the American side, who knows? Men's dress shirt, it's actually, it's a nice shirt. Size medium, so it's not like I'm ever getting in that, but uh, you know, it's a nice, nice dress shirt. Oh, hat. Ooh. What do you think? Is it me? Is it me? I don't know. All right. Let's see what else we have in here. What is? What is this? Captain America, Legends, Marvels. Okay. There we go. Nice little toy like that. I have to check into this. You know, sometimes on product like these, you think, oh, well, you know what, you might get $20, and then I've Googled other ones, and astonished that they're actually uh, retailing for $100. So, I mean, you don't get the $100 most of the time, but um, you never know. Sometimes you get these, especially the vintage Captain America, where it's using his old uniform, his old shield and everything, they could be worth a, a pretty penny. So, that's a good find. PS4, Spider-Man 4, see, it's in there, yes it is, and let's take a look here, okay, so, no scratches, which is always a good sign, so that should be, uh, should be a pretty easy sell. The Thing, what do we have, well that's a comic book, that's awfully, uh, Pretty thick comic book, I must say. And, okay, what do we have? I just threw these on top, not thinking anything of them, really. These are vintage comic books. So, I'll have to, Spectacular Spider-Man on that, Dollar Secret Wars, um, another Secret Wars, and then another one. These are all different, so I'm gonna have to. I'll have to Google these and see what they're see what they're worth. I mean, they could be worth ten dollars. They could be worth a couple hundred dollars. It's, it all comes down when it comes to comics. It's like sports cards. Any kind of uh, sports memorabilia is the condition. So 
I mean, this is not in the best condition that I'm looking at. Um, they are, you can tell they're, they're a little rough around the edges. This one here, this Spider-Man here is, uh, wow, it's almost mint. I mean, there's a little, little ding on the corner, but this is by far in the best shape. So I'll have to be careful with them. I was throwing them around like it was nothing. You know, duh. Oh, what do we have in here? Mm-hmm. Insertable for your folder. Big fine, big fine. Okay, there you go. White binder. Again, sometimes you get that junk, right? And what do we have here? Three Bostitch, three hole punch. So, you know, again, nice new, good fine. Not worth uh, a boatload of money, but uh, somebody might pick it up. What's this? Okay, we have a belt. All right. It's leather. Okay, so you know what? I don't know. I don't think this might be a bust. Because the buckle is not in here, unfortunately. And this is one of those belts that the buckle goes along and it, and it goes into one of these notches. So it's not even like I can put a regular, well, I mean, I could put a regular buckle on it, punch holes, but for what I'm gonna get, it's definitely not worth it. So that's kind of a, a bust. Ooh, yeah, baby. If you saw my first video, you had already seen this during the show. Here's the other part. The back of it is, I think, upstairs somewhere. Um, this actually goes to one of my other totes. I had Halloween costumes. That is part of the Stormtrooper Halloween costume. Couldn't figure out at first what it was for, but now I do. Okay, I have two of these. Actually, I have three total. I had brought these out in a different uh, episode. These here are the adhesive, self-adhesive photo albums. So again, I mean, it, unless you, somebody's gonna pick it up for wedding pictures, uh, might be the only way I'm gonna get rid of these. And again, they don't sell for an awful lot of money. Um, I'll put them on. I mean, it is a nice uh, leather or full leather cover. I'll put them on for $10 each. And uh, cheap enough for somebody maybe to, hey, I'm gonna buy that, pick it up. Digital TV converter box, Mexico, USA, Canada, ATSC. There we go. That is uh, another version of an Android box, if I'm not mistaken. Again, there you go, is uh, the remote, the wires, all spick and span. This is all brand new, which is good. I like the brand new stuff like this. So exactly what it is. It's, a, it's another version of one of the Android boxes. So. I mean, I don't need it. Uh, I'll plug it in, maybe be on the safe side just to see if it, uh, the programming and everything is, is there. And price it accordingly. I mean, these are usually pretty good finds if you can get these and they're brand new like this. They usually retail anywhere from $60 to $100. So, I mean, it could be an easy $40, $50. So, you know, good finds like that, that's what we're, that's what we're after. Mutant mass muscle gainer. You like to work out, need a bit of weight. Here's an easy uh, almost 4,000 calories. Uh, the problem is, is uh, what they don't tell you. So 1,100 calories, which is a lot for a shake, but 70% sugar. Not the healthiest way to put on weight, but if you're looking for it, I have it. Micro plush heated blanket. That's nice. Seeing the size, 72 by 84. So 72 by 84, I'm not sure if that's a, if that's a full, uh, a full twin or something like that. I'll have to figure it out. I'll take that out, make sure that it, it all works. That another, another good find, they usually sell for about $100. So uh, I'm happy with uh, products like that. Uh, just random 
random stuff like this. So I have an empty box kicking around. It was in it was in the pallet, and it was empty. And all this was floating around in the pallet. So like in the Gaylord that was on the pallet. And what they are is this is part. I've already had two breast pumps, like electric breast pump. Again, this is another one with all the parts just floating around. So the best I can do is just pick these parts up and then, uh, you know, see if I can actually make something out of it and see what kind of condition it's in. Okay, what do we have here? Home Decor Onyx Vaz. Alright, Vaz. Okay, that would have been nice. Guess what? It's broken. Ah, well. Big bust. That's not worth anything. It's too bad because that's actually it's heavy and it's uh, it's nice. By the by the top it says vase, but you can actually put a candle in there too. But unfortunately, it's broken, so we're just gonna have to call that a. Okay, let's see what we have here. I'm not sure. Okay. PS, uh, looks like one of the PS, not sure which one. Game controller, all new, it looks like. <laughs> Trying to find out which one it's for. Yeah, one here. So, you know what? I'll have to look into that a bit more, find out. I don't know if they're all universal, if uh, PS2, PS3, or I, I mean, I don't know if they're all generic, if they all work the same. So if they do, hopefully, um, you know, if they do, it's an easy sell. If it's restricted to like a PS2, PS3, eh, you know what, it's hard to sell. And if you do, you're definitely not going to get much for it, but um, we got to hope for the best. Part of my pump. And we have a belt. Looks like a serpentine belt for a car, a vehicle. Um, there's nothing on it. There is a there is a number on it, so I'll have to look the number up and actually see what it fits. And you know, with any luck, it fits something uh, something good. Drew Dot Kings upper deck rookie card. Uh, LA, Matt Roy, Matt Roy, uh, LA, uh, LA Kings rookie card with a patch of his jersey and his autograph on here. I'm not sure, I'm not a, you know, I'm not much of a hockey fan. I'm not sure if that's worth anything. Again, that could be a good find. Usually if you have something like that, it's, it should always be worth 20, 30 bucks, right? So... But it could be good. I mean, it's not like I'm going to get a, a Wayne Gretzky rookie card in uh, mint shape. But, you know, we take what we get. Country Music Award, Ken Burns. All right, let's see what we have here. Not a big country person. So I do not know who they are. But you might. It's all brand new. Anyhow, wrapped up still. Country music, a film by Ken Burns. Oh, so okay. Three hours, additional content. Oh, there we go. If you can see it with the light. Movie. Timer, just a kitchen timer. Oh, what do we have? Building blocks. 168 piece. Small blocks, big idea. Engineer star here for kids. They're the like those. They're they're an easy sell, especially when it's all brand new package like this. You know, easy sell. This is the stuff that you like to keep getting. Um, I don't know offhand about this, but by the looks of it, how it's constructed, should be an easy twenty twenty dollars, if not thirty dollars. Okay. So this is part of the breast pumping station here. And again, 
This one was floating around. The other two I had were brand new. Um, you can tell they've never been used. All, all of these uh, accessories were still sealed up, haven't been opened. This one here, they sent this back. It has been used. You can, you know, I mean, if you're going to return something, at least clean it. I mean, that's what I find funny. You know, you want to use something, even if you don't like it, at least clean it. I mean, this was never used, but you can tell they tried it on that. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Again, you got to love clothes with uh, the tag still on there. It makes, makes life a lot easier. This is actually nice. You know, woman's, uh, woman's dress. So, yeah. I have to check out that brand. Like I said, it's a lot easier when they're brand new. They have the tag on them. Check that out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More clothes, more clothes. I can't believe how many clothes. Again, this is a summer. Yeah, this is one of those things you throw it on. It's almost like what Holada's wearing. I don't know if she's in the picture, probably not. You just throw this on over a bathing suit or something. Shorts, light, casual. Summer attire. That was a medium. Professional modeling wax kit. Zombies. Okay. Take a look at that. Nice. Okay. Three pack of pruning blades. Scissors for gardening. We're getting low. We have a diary. A child's diary. Lock and key, which is always good. People like that kind of stuff. So we have, okay, so this is one of those, uh, those funky ones, eh? You put your hands over it. Unicorn, diary, lock and key. And uh, that's what it does, one of those. I don't know the proper name for that. But it's cool. You know? Hmm. There we go. Always get a few dollars for those. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we have in this baggie. Looks like a leash of some sort. Okay, 3XL Let Park. Dog. What to say? These XL, they don't look like XL, they're very big. So there you go. It's a, some kind of a harness. I'll have to do more homework for a 3XL. It can't be for a dog, even though it has a paw on it. Uh, I don't think you're going to get a cat in that. If you do, well, all the power to you. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, I've had one of these before. I don't know. I have no clue what this is. This is two of them I have now. So, if you know, comment below. I I haven't the fathom idea what this stuff is. I keep getting it. I don't know. That's two now. Central Park Home grommet panels. Okay, so we have a uh, gray curtain. Nice material, this size here, so I like this. It has everything on here, 100 inch by 95 inch curtain. So that, I don't have to take it out. Nice quality, I know the size. Ice cream scooper, there we go. Again, I told you, I'm not exaggerating. I mean, the, the extreme of stuff that you can get from one end to the other. Okay, so I think we have uh, swimming, some really high-end swimming goggles here. 
All right, yeah, I think they're swimming goggles. Have to double check, but I'm sure they are. Yeah, nice suction on there. These are actually pretty cool. I might keep those. I mean, I have a few already, but you know what? For for what I can get for things like this, I mean, I would rather just keep them. I rather I rather keep a thirty dollar product that I know I might only get ten dollars for if I could use it. The problem is I have everything. That's the shit. Acne-free cleanser with peroxide, eight ounce. There you go. Still, still wrapped up. Okay, this is part of the baby kit. So all the wires are there. The pump is there. The bottles are there. I'll plug it in. You know what? See if everything works and uh, see what I can do with it. Screen protector. Okay, six pack. It's pretty small. I'm probably gonna say it's gonna be for, you know what, your your camera or something like that. Yeah, you know what, it's nice. They give you a nice cleaner. It's, it's rare that you actually get a cleaner in one of these packages. So, you know, yeah, it's clean, clean. Okay, so. It's nice, but it doesn't look like they returned any of the lenses. If they are, they might be smaller ones in here. And if it's a six pack again, it's only going to be for the camera section, not the screen itself. You know, diamond dozen. You can't give 90. The only thing good out of this is the little bottle of cleaner, which I can utilize. Okay, last box. Last box for this episode and for the series of seven totes. Let's see what we have. Ooh, well, not what I was expecting, but Slim Fast Keto Bombs. Keto Bombs. There you go. This stuff's expensive, keto stuff. It's crazy what they charge for it. Um, let's see what the expiry date is on here. You know, best before September 9th, 21. Okay, so I mean, you know what? At least it's all validated. It's all good stuff. Old Spice, Old Spice Swagger Deodorant. Dove six bars. I I can't believe somebody would purchase like a package of this and then actually send it back to you know Amazon, but or you know it's in an Amazon box. So, and we have Old Spice Swagger body wash. Okay, so they haven't used it because there's nothing in the nozzle. But I mean, again, you know what? For me, it's just easier. It's just easier to keep products like this than it is trying to sell them for the three to five dollars. If they retail for ten, I mean, five dollars. If you're lucky, five dollars. And that's it. That is tote seven. That's the final one. Uh, I will. I'll go through everything I have here. I'll put a value on it. I'll have it scrolling across the screen when I edit this video, and I'm gonna have a potential selling value and then again um, potential so that doesn't mean I'm going to get it it's going to work out to um, you know if I had so hypothetically if I had put that on I found out it was worth $12.99 I put it on for six dollars somebody I'll give you four dollars for it well if I don't want it kicking around or if I want to get it I'll take the four dollars so that's another two dollars off of the potential that I'm actually total potential I'm going to put down there and with the products that I've seen in these seven totes, um, I'm going to say probably 35% of them I'd be able to sell like this, and the other 65% I'm going to be sitting on them for a while. So even though I may get uh, a, a majority of the potential selling value for breast pumps, um, the clothing, which is going to take a while to sell, I mean, it could take me a year to sell everything. So, one, am I making money on this? You will find out from the potential value of what I actually paid for it for two thousand dollars. So, if I'm if I'm short on two thousand, well, now am I losing money? But it's going to take me a year to actually get back all the money I've lost. And if I happen to be in the profit, it could it's going to take me a year to actually get into the profit. Am I profiting a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars, or did I lose did I lose three hundred? You'll find out. Thanks for watching. Until I get my next one, I'll see you then.